Hey guys, what's up? It's Action Kai here with another top five video, and this week's video is, or maybe not this week, but today's video is top five least favorite Pokemon. Now, there's five on this one and ten on my top favorite because honestly, I love a lot more Pokemon than I hate. But that said, remember, this is my opinion. If you do not agree, don't take it to heart. Um, I know my number one is just because it has pissed me off so many times, and it's not a bad Pokemon. If you love the Pokemon, that's fine. I don't see many people using it. But, anyways, um, coming up on the channel, something I want to talk about real quick, is I'm thinking of doing a Let's Play. And I know I tried to do one before, it's not going to be a Nuzlocke. Um, I'm thinking of doing Pokemon Sweet version. If you don't want know what that is, I found it by watching the Hoodlum Scrafty. Very popular YouTuber. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. He's very good. I watched it, and I just died of laughter looking at the Pokemon. It was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so... Anyways, and plus, it brings whole new types to it, and it kind of gets me out of my nerd mode, because I have to relearn everything, because it's like, why are you doing this? Obviously, this is better. It's like, eh. And it, it, whenever I watch people, what I do and they do normally ends up different, and that ends with conflict. But, anyways, let's start this top five. Number five, Pikachu. Now, if you couldn't guess from my top five Kanto Pokemon, Pikachu I didn't really like. If you don't remember, I said that Scyther should use Decapitate on Pikachu. <laughs> and Decapitate should be a move. I still stand by that. I want Decapitate. It will be a badass move. But anyways, um, I don't like Pikachu for the one reason that he's, he's more popular than he should be. I mean, let's be honest. A lot of people would not like him if he wasn't Ash's main Pokemon. Mind you, Ash's main Pokemon originally was going to be a Clefairy. But the manga, Clefairy did some fucked up shit. And people decided that Clefairy should not be that because it might scare people. But anyways, Pikachu's just overliked because of the anime in my opinion. He does not deserve to be as popular as he is. He's frankly not that good of a Pokemon. Now, I use a Pikachu. But I use it to get a Raichu. As soon as that thing learns Thunderbolt, it's like, you know what? There's a TM for Thunder. It doesn't need to learn it by level up. Let's go. Raichu, here I come. But yeah, that's number five. Let's head to number four. Weedle. Now... The only reason why Weedle's on here is because, let's be honest, we all wanted Caterpie. We wanted the Confusion Butterfree. We didn't want no Beedrill. What, like... The most interesting thing I remember Beedrill having was Fury Attack. Which wasn't that great, to be honest. Like, I mean... Just, Butterfree was better in my opinion. Plus, yeah, you could get the Poison type advantage with Poison Sting or whatever over Caterpie, I think, in Gen 1. But, then Butterfree learned Confusion, and I think Beedrill's like Flying Poison... Or something like that. I know it's super effective against him and it just destroys him. That's all I know. I don't know if it's four times, two times, whatever. But Beedrill gets destroyed by Butterfree. That's all that matters. Butterfree is better. Moving on. Number three, Exernius. Now, I don't like Exernius for one reason. I played through... I watched my friend play through X. I played through Y. And... I like the flying gener the flying legendaries for one reason. When I get him, 
all I have to do is get rid of my flying type. Because the only reason why I have my flying type there is because it knows fly. A flying type legendary can learn fly, so I don't need it. But the with Exernius, it can't learn fly. Obviously, not a big fan of the fairy type, and even though it's super effective up against Yvettel, I know I'm probably not saying them how they're supposed to be said, but this is how I say them. It's better, but I just didn't like his move set. His design's pretty cool, I guess, but overall, I just didn't like him. Uh, I don't know why. He just, I just don't like him. So moving on, number two. Dunsparce. Dunsparce just had no use. I mean, as far as I know so far, they haven't given him an evolution. His base stats aren't that great. I think his move sets or move pool isn't that great. He's just... Not that great of a Pokemon overall. I never use him because, well, like, I tried to catch him once, but he got one shot by something the same level. Neutral damage, too. It's not that interesting of a typing. It's just normal. I mean, like, if I, at least I think it is. If you're going after something that's just a normal type, like, I'd rather pick Ratatat. Uh, Pat Rat. Anything. So many things can replace it and are better. Like, I remember watching the episode of the anime to where, like, all these kids caught Dunsparce. And this one kid got left out and he was shunned because of it. And it's like, if I was that kid, I'd just look at it and it's like, okay, you guys shit Pokemon. Who cares? If you like Dunsparce, I'm sorry, but the Pokemon shit. <laughs> Moving on. Number one. Graveler. Now, Graveler is not a bad Pokemon. And overall, its strategy is very good. It knows how to maximize its 1 HP. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Sturdy, Explosion, I hate... Graveler. Geodude and Golem can fit in this cat. Actually, technically, anything that can learn explosion and has the ability sturdy, I hate. Because they always use it on the turn that I won. I'm supposed to one shot them. They maximize that 1 HP. And I hate them with a passion. But with that out of the way, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like or dislike. Let me know how I'm doing. Leave a comment. Just let me know how I'm doing. I honestly want to know. It, I don't care if it's bad review, good review, whatever. But I need to know if I'm doing something right or wrong. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys.